Welcome to part 36 in SQL reporting service and the last time we saw the indicators and we learned how can we create an indicator, how can we use them. So this is what we saw last time but if you are new to this then don't worry what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click, I'm gonna delete this guy <clears throat> I'm gonna add an indicator again alright and I'm gonna choose the basic and I hit OK and generally by the rule of thumb you know I got a data set I drag this guy product name in here Unistock in here alright so that was it alright and when we did the preview alright this is interesting what just happened I'm sorry I didn't configure it yet so I'm gonna not click the box but click the button so <clears throat> when you click the yellow button it will ask you what are you trying to bind then you say alright I want to bind units in stock and based on that you do some calculation and give me red yellow and green so let's go alright there you go so you're getting a lot of values right but you have no idea how come this 39 is turning into red and how come this 53 turning into yellow and 120 turning into gr green right so let's have a look at the data and the, if you remember for the last time I said only focus on units in stock the numbers 39 17 13 and in the end we figure out all right there are so many numbers but there is one number which is 125 and which is the highest dude so how does this calculation work all right I see 125 so what's the big deal about it all right here's what happened behind the scene it goes behind the scene and it takes 125 as a highest number when you execute this report the SSRS knows the 125 is the highest number in the system right so what SSRS does for you is like you know it tries to divide your 125 into three sections it tries to you know make a percentage of 125 like if I give you a hundred and if I try, if I tell you to divide in three parts so you'll go by all right 33 66 and 99 right so that's how you make the calculation happen right so what it does is you know it tries to make a uh, 33 percent of 125 it tries to figure out that value and those who fall into that it makes them as a red those who fall above 33 and in between 66 percent it makes them as yellow and the rest after that as green so here's how the calculation goes so if you check for 125 if you try to take out a 33 person so it's very easy the answer is 41.25 so this guy says alright I'm going to be Mr. Red right so let's see if we find any record lesser than 41 so as you can less than 41 alright so where I just saw yeah so you seeing 40 here this 40 is red because it is in the range of 0 to 33 percent right so likewise the value below 41 is going to be red so that's why I've written I will be Mr. Red and the value of you know 125 percent 66 is going to be 82.25 so I will be Miss Yellow and the value above 82.5 is going to be green so what is actually happening is the SSRS does a good job for you the value between 0 to 1 0 to I'm sorry 41.25 will be treated as red so actually you are low in stock you need to buy more stock the value from 41.5 to 82.5 will be yellow and after 82.25 will be green so let's have a look if we find anything after 41.5 so as you can see the 61 is yellow because it is after 40 oh example 42 is yellow it's just following after 41.5 so you see how the calculations are going on right so based on this it works and in order to prove <clears throat> what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click on this I'm gonna say indicator properties and values and status so as you can see one second the calculations are made on the basis of percentage the default right and over here you can see the formula alright the red, red will be calculated based on 0 to 33 percent if any value is falling in between 0 to 33 will be calculated as red and percentage so 
you understanding right it is doing the job to finding out who is the highest dude and based on that the calculation works now if you want to modify this calculation you can do it very well but you have to be a little careful so <clears throat> let's say uh, actually you know I'm the average client I don't make a huge sale every day so 0 to 20 percent is good to me and 21 to 66 is also fine so now the graph changes if you remember the 40 was falling into the red now the 40 will turn into yellow this is what we saw last time this guy was red now this guy is yellow right so this is cool right <clears throat> so you can configure the things based on yourself based on the client's priority client is saying I'm not making big sales so you simply go here and you configure this property and and it, it starts working if you really want to see uh, what exactly happened I have the calculator and as we know 125 into 20 percent is 0 0.20 and I'll get 25 so the values from 0 to 25 will be red so let's have a look and if so 17 is red 13 is 24 is still red yes you can see 29 Paola right I'm sorry it is something else so it is again 29 just to prove my point this is how the system works alright so in the next video I'll try to show you more how can you configure these guys you know uh, like uh, I mean you can configure it the way you want there are lots and lots to this there's not only the percentages but there's a numeric also so you can configure it the way you want all right so this is cool I hope you enjoy this video if this video helps you in some way then please subscribe to my channel and share this video with your friends thank you for watching good night and take care